Hey everybody, it's Ross, and it's time to talk about diamond paintings. These are some diamond paintings that GBFKE sent to me. They recently reached out to me and wanted to know if they could send me some diamond paintings to share here on the channel, and I said yes. So I picked a few things out. So let's see what we have here, what they sent. Um, it looks like there should be six things here. Yep, and that's what I got. Six things here, so that's a good start. So if you're not familiar with GBFKE, is an online retailer. They have diamond paintings, and I love diamond paintings. So I picked out a few things here. We've got some traditional canvas diamond paintings, plus some different specialty shaped, different kind of diamond painting things here to share on the channel, which I love to do all the stuff. So where do we begin? Let's look at the traditional diamond paintings first that they sent. Um, did I just get two of those? Looks like I just got two of them. Perfect. Okay. So right here is what I picked up. And let's find these on their website. change the pricing here to the United States dollars from the euro because that'll be a little bit easier to talk about. Um, so we'll talk about this one first because it's in my hand. Uh, this one here is a 30 by 40 painting and if you can't, it's a flamingo, a flamingo. actually it's two flamingos. So this is a 30 by 40 painting. Um, these are round drills. Full canvas round drill. Let's see, let's open it up here and take a look at the picture. I do both round and square. I prefer the round. It's like, I like both of them. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, squares, I feel you get a lot more detail, but they are smaller and takes a little bit more work. You gotta be a little more precise, whereas the rounds are a little bit larger, they go faster, but you don't have quite the same amount of details you do with the squares. But I enjoy the process of both, and I do both. I usually do more rounds because that's what's usually with all the different other like specially shaped stuff is rounds, but I do squares from time to time as well. But anyways, here is what the picture looks like. So, 30 by 40. We've got trying to see here so we can see some a couple of flamingos there, right in the center. They're like the main focus, and then we have like some tropical flowers and leaves around surrounding them, making kind of like a frame. Um, so this has 20 colors in it. We have the table up on the top left hand side, also down on the bottom right hand side. So then where you're working on in the picture, you can kind of get to the table either way to kind of see, okay. So if I look up here and, wow, that's really nicely printed. Sorry, I just noticed like how nicely the print, the symbols are printed here. So very easy to read, I love that. Sometimes you get diamond paintings where it's really, really hard to read the symbol and it's like, is that a B or an A? I'm not really sure. But here you just match up, so like, you look at letter L, you go over here, find L, and that is going to be number 9, which is the color number, is that 828? I'm trying to read it backwards, yeah, 828. So, and I'll show you how, what that corresponds to on the diamond pieces. So this has, up at the top, diamond painting, number 8239, 30 by 40. So, there's that picture there. And then you just peel, when you go to work on it, you peel off this plastic cover and it's self-adhesive so your little diamond pieces stick right to it. And look at how nicely that is, the printing on that. I'm just like really impressed with that. So that's what the canvas looks like. And then comes with your standard toolkit. So if you've never diamond painted before, I say this all the time, 
this is all you need to diamond paint. What you need for diamond painting comes with your diamond painting. You don't need anything extra to do your diamond painting. You can buy extra stuff to, you know, help you out, um, whatever your preference is, but the basic tools come with your kit. So, like if you're getting into diamond painting and you've never done before and you want to try, you just need to buy one thing, has what you need, and then if you really enjoy it, then you can get all the extras later on. Um, but it has your pink pen, and that you, you'll use that to pick up the diamond pieces. Um, this green tray, you put the diamond pieces in, and this little red square right here is some wax. And you peel off the top cover of that wax, you'll stick the tip of the pen into that wax, there's a little like cavity. You fill it up with that wax, and that's going to be sticky enough where it picks up your diamond pieces and you can stick it onto the canvas. So it's like doing a paint by number, but instead of having paint, you have these little diamond pieces. There's a lot of them here. So you see here, the there's all these numbers on the packaging. So these numbers, so like the 602, you use that to match up with the key. So you're going along and 602 is letter O. So you'll like say, okay, so I look over here, O is 602. So you find 602 in here. And that's where it goes on the canvas wherever it is O. So I like this picture. So a couple fun flamingos. Be perfect for this size. So there's that is the first one. And the next one I have is another flamingo picture. I love flamingos. If you did not know that already. And I feel like over the years of doing diamond paint, I bought, I feel like almost all the flamingo pictures out there, but these two I have never seen before, so I picked them up. So this one here is a 30 by 40. The full canvas round diamond pieces and it is a flamingo with a roll of toilet paper that says your butt napkins my lord so obviously this flamingo has not discovered the joys of a bidet where you don't need the toilet paper but that's a whole different video uh, but here we go so your butt napkins, my lord. I thought that was a fun picture. I've seen it with, I think, like cats and other animals and creatures. But this is the first time I saw it with a flamingo. So I was like, oh, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. So there's that. So this one has uh, 18 colors in it. And here's how it looks. So this one has some of... Like on the other one... All the symbols were printed in black. This one, they're printed in black and white because of the darker backgrounds. Obviously, you would be able to see like black print on a black color. So it has um, white and black printing for the letters. There's that. And it's like the other one, it comes with your standard toolkit. And then it has the diamond pieces are in these packages here. I'm not going to go through and show you each individual package of diamond pieces, but they're like that. I'll just keep them like this because it's easier to kind of keep it that way. Keep them all in one place and not run the risk of losing a package here or there. So there's that. So those are the two standard ones, and I realize I did not tell you the prices. So the price on this one right now... Um, it's shown it is five dollars and twenty one cents currently, and that's as of uh, September sixteenth, twenty twenty three. So five dollars and twenty one cents for this picture, and then the butt napkins. That one is four dollars and fifteen cents right now for this one. It's four dollars and fifteen cents. That's the price on that. I will have links to all these items down below in the description box for you. So I got those two things. Um, what's next? Next one here. I thought this was a fun little bag. So let's look up this one. This is a little zipper pouch. Um, and it's got a fun little gnome family on the front. 
This is $7.35. They've got different styles you can choose from. If you click on the link, you can see the other styles. But I went with this gnome family. So this one, they call this a partial drill. So you're not going to do the entire front. You just do pretty much the little gnome characters and that's it. The background is not sticky and it's just printed on there. And looks like how they make this is they put the plastic on the front and then they sew it together because the plastic cover is sewn into the sides of the bag. So you got to rip it out. So you can see here, so... Like, we can kind of see that sheen. That's the adhesive that goes for the drills. And then other parts don't have that sheen. That's where you don't do any um, diamond pieces. Which sometimes you call them drills, diamond pieces, whatever you want to call them. Um, there's that. So we've got, you're going to diamond paint, looks like. we got a cardinal here. Then we got... Looks like a family of four gnomes. That's what we're gonna do there. So, and then the back side is just plain. Then inside the pouch we have our toolkit. And then we have our little diamond pieces. And these are rhinestone sparkly style ones. In this one, how you find out what color goes to what, you'll just look at here, so like that number five. Then you look on here and you find number five and that's where it goes. There's that. This, the size on this, let me give you the dimensions on it. It's about eight inches wide by five and a half inches tall. So this one is $7.35 right now. And I'll link to that down below. What else is in this box? So in this bag. This fun little, little stand-up thing. I love these things. I have so many of these now that I like these are like my go-to for diamond painting projects because I just really, really enjoy them. Let's see which one is this. Let's see here. Oh two. 819022.02. There it's that one right here. So this one is uh, this little gnome here. It's got a little heart that says love. I'll take out the plastic bag. So this is a stand up decoration. They call it an ornament. Side we have, like I said, they all come with a standard toolkit. So everything you need to do right here, diamond painting. Um, so we have our diamond pieces. We have looks like one, two, three, five colors here. So we've got some rhinestone style ones. Also these ones right here. Okay, this white one has like this iridescent finish on it. That's really cool. So here is a little base and this base you stick your little stand up or your little what they call ornament into that. Like so. It goes in easier once you peel off the plastic cover and stuff but there's that. So it just stands up like that and you have this little decoration you can put on a table, a bookshelf, forever. There's that. So it is this gnome. It's got hearts and the heart that says love. So they say this is a Christmas diamond art ornament, but I'd say it's probably more towards Valentine's Day. Have it that time. And the size on this it's about four inches wide by seven inches tall. And the price on this right now is six dollars and twenty-eight cents. Why is it focus on that random thing back there? Focus on this. And there's what it looks like where you stick it and then you just, there's a plastic cover you peel off and it's sticky underneath where you stick your little pieces. So I like that one. I love these things. 
I have so many of them now that they're just they're fun they're quick projects they don't take up a whole lot of time like a full canvas picture will do and that's why I like these a lot more these days is because I can sit down and work on them in a couple nights and have them finished whereas like a full canvas it takes me a while to get those completed um, okay so there's that one what's the next one in here here is the next one, a similar type thing to the one I just showed you. The price on this is $7.35. Another stand-up decoration. This is says welcome. So even though it is middle of September, I am mentally in my head thinking, okay, let's get stuff for Christmas time because once I work through what I have now and start working on these projects, they'll be ready in time for Christmas time. So this is just a big welcome sign. And then we got some gnomes mixed in with the letters. So I'll take this out of the bag. Again, toolkit. Everything you need right there. Welcome. Oh, that was kind of fun. And the size on this is it's about uh, three and a half to four inches wide and about 11 inches tall. And here's our little base it sits in. And then we have all of our little diamond pieces. All right, and then the final thing. I don't know what this is, and I, I haven't spoiled myself because I can click on the link and see what it is, but I kind of want to be surprised because I don't remember what I picked out. So... Let's open this box up and see what's inside. Ah, yes! Yes! It's another one of the stand-up decorations. Um, but this is Halloween themed. And I have almost purchased this one um, going through looking online. I was like, I really like that. I almost clicked add to cart to purchase, but I was like, ah, let's wait. And I'm glad I did because I completely forgot I picked this one out. So there it is. It's this little, like, witch cat with a jack-o'-lantern. I love it so much. I saved the best for last, I feel like. So this is $9.50. 59 cents, 9.59 for this. And it's another, all those ones I showed you, they're all on wood, they're all plywood, is what they're on. And we got this fun cat. I love this one so much. Our base, and then toolkit. And then we have the diamond pieces, and it looks like these are the rhinestone style, except for that black color. Usually the blacks and all these kits with the rhinestone are usually just a solid. So, I love it. I love this one so much. So let me measure this one. It is eight inches high and about well, it varies, but like at the base from like tail to edge of the pumpkins, about well, five and a half inches wide. So, a nice size one. I like that. I love it so much. And you can see where you put all your diamond pieces. Oh, so cool. And the jack o' I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. Love it so much. All right. And 
that is everything GBFKE sent me. Thank you, GBFKE, for sending these to me. If you see something you liked, I'll have links to them down below. I'll also have a link to their website down below if you just want to see what else they have. Check out their site. They've got all different kinds of diamond paintings. They've also got some cross stitch. So go check it out and get yourself some diamond paintings and other fun crappy things. And thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon.